hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's session i'm going to give lecture on rigid total before getting into the session kindly subscribe my youtube channel to get the updates about the upcoming lecture rigid total uh, was born in the year uh, 1528 says birth year was not certain it might be uh, in the year 1528 or 1530 as a first legal publisher of uh, printing books uh, he won a publishing house at temple bar on uh, fleet street in london see is uh, the principal business i mean the main business was uh, publishing law books uh, at the same time uh, he also uh, contributed in a huge number of publishing the Uh, anthology of poetry uh, which enlarged his presence in english literature total was uh, well known for his uh, miscellany uh, which is a collection of poetry around 271 poetry are there in the collection out of this uh, around 60 uh, poetry are sonnets which is also known as uh, songs and sonnets which helped him to gain a, a long lasting place in the uh, english literature Total's miscellany, which helped to uh, establish a vernacular lyric tradition in print, and of course, it is also imparted a model for subsequent anthologies of English verse. And this book was published in various editions, like the first edition of Total's miscellany came in the year 1557, and the second edition was also placed in the same year, but on the month of July. The third edition was published in the year 1558 and fourth edition was published in the 1565 and the fifth edition was published in the year 1567 and the sixth edition was published in the 1574 so particularly this work uh, made him to be very popular in the literary field which gained him a permanent name in the literary field so total's primary aim is to publish a huge number of law books but still he also printed you know huge number of uh, uh, books which are unrelated to uh, the law the total's miscellany this book was uh, best known for his accuracy and ability which are seen as a scientific quality which he used in this book uh, this book has gone up to around 8 editions this book is being spoken popularly for around 100 years even today uh, total is praised for this book as a owner of uh, printing house publishing house total has published uh, various books of uh, the other writers like thomas mose and uh, uh, william stanford thomas tesser john lidgate see he has published you know the works of others because he won publishing house see the most of uh, his publications were uh, uh, the legal treatises Uh, including a legal history of uh, ring of richard the third richard the third and uh, legal yearbooks uh, covering parts of the ring of henry the eighth and edward the sixth total's father was an uh, affluent person i mean the, uh, he is a wealthy person in england who won uh, huge public offices uh, in his lifespan including uh, an office in bailiff which started in the year 1528 and the office uh, uh, sheriff which was uh, published in the year, which was started in the year 1529 and one more office uh, mayor this one started in the year 1552 around 1540 richard total was uh, indentured to uh, william middleton uh, a printer who was a printer of law books in london which means uh, as per an agreement in the in the contract base he was uh, assigned to work uh, to william middleton total was indentured ship uh, till the end of middleton life in the year 1547 william middleton was passed away so middleton wife uh, who married another person called william powell so william powell became another printer of law books so now uh, mrs powell and william powell they relieved the total soon after relieving from powell's uh, printing house uh, he joined the printing house of uh, henry smith 
uh, at the sign of the hand after that he joined in star at the publishing house when uh, smith passed away he came to another publishing house which is star richard total's career was grown very fast when he was given the patent right uh, that can allow him that will permit him to print all authorized books which are dealing with common laws so he was given that rights so with which he published he published all authorized books uh, that is why you know uh, with which you know he has grown very fast financially he was given the license i mean he was granted the patent rights originally in the year 1553 this license can last for 7 years this is valid for 7 years but in the year of 1556 Uh, this patent was renewed for another 7 years even before the expiry date it was renewed for another 7 years but in the but in the year 1559 total patent right was granted him for lifetime the patent right was granted him for lifetime being a legal publisher uh, which helped him to found a worshipful company of stationers it's a, a new publishing house which he has started in the year of 1557 he was given uh, uh, the royal charter he he was rewarded with the royal charter uh, which is the stationers company of london named him as the uh, 67th member of their charter out of 94 after some time so uh, total increased the ranks of uh, this this company worshipful company of stationers as a uh, the stationers company which got included title of warden and upper warden and master from 1578 to 1584 but unfortunately after 1584 his health condition was very poor uh, due to that he couldn't do his duty properly he couldn't stay in his company for long time so that because of that he was excluded from the ranks still richard total was uh, loved and admired uh, within the company he was given permission to attend the meetings if the uh, if any meetings was conducted in the company if it is possible for him whenever he is free whenever he is able to come to the office and he was allowed at any time to get into the office he was excluded from the rank so publisher his main focus is publishing the law documents the legal documents but still apart from law he has published some other books a lot of books he has published he was suffering around 10 years with the poor health condition and he passed away in the year uh, 1593 see as the sole owner of the uh, printing house the printing patent of law books in the kingdom of uh, queen elizabeth a huge legal battle was happened after his death so due to that uh, the patent was dissolved the rights uh, uh, the rights to printing such volumes were free to any publisher any publisher was allowed to print any books now let's see uh, some uh, books which he has published which were written by uh, the other authors uh, william baldwin who wrote a, a work called a treatise of moral philosophy containing the savings of the wise which he published in the year 1547 a treatise of moral m o r a l l p h y l o s o p h y e philosophy containing c o n t a v n y n g containing the sayings s a y i n g s of the wise which he published in the year 1547 and the work uh, a dialogue of comfort against tribulation which was written by thomas more this work uh, he published in the year 1553 the book called fall of princes which was written by john lidgate and this one was published in the year 1554 stephen house h a w e e s stephen house who was uh, uh, who wrote a book called past time a pleasure p a s t i m e past time a pleasure which was published by richard total in the year 1555 and uh, the translation of cicero's uh, de officiis by nicolas grimald see nicolas grimald who wrote this book which was published by richard total in the year 1556 and again the translation of the second and fourth books of virgil's aeneid 
by Henry Howard Earl of Surrey. This one was published in the year 1557. In the year 1557, he also published some of Thomas More's works, apart from a dialogue of comfort against tribulation. And uh, Thomas Tasser, uh, Thomas Tasser, who wrote a book called A yeah, Hundred Good Points of Husbandry, and this one was published in the year 1557. The book called uh, The Tragical History of Romeo's and Juliet was written by Arthur Brooke, and this book was published in the year 1562. And the book called The Palace of Pleasure, this one was written by William Painter, and it was published by Richard Total between. Uh, the year between 1566 and 67 and James Dyer who wrote a book called Collection of Cases which was published by Richard Tortle in the year 1586. So these are the some of the books which Richard Tortle published as a, uh, as a sole owner of uh, publishing house. Well that's it about uh, Richard Tortle. Thank you for watching my lecture and uh, do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet.